Hey everyone, I thought I'd give you a quick update on what projects I've been working on and where I am with some of my other projects that I haven't came back with any more details. So um, just a quick video to show you what I've been up to. Right, so let's start off with my Tato cocktail cabinet. Um, I've been working on this for a long time and decided that I don't need to rush it. I'm going to really spend the time getting it just right. Uh, to my liking uh, so still working on it things that have changed since my first original video is that I got the um, the base has been painted um, and reattached uh, I ended up um, I've got a control panel that I've got uh, this one came with it and I got some uh, uh, got this I printed this at work and got a new little metal frame to go in the Go in there, um, but I was missing the opposite side. Uh, in the meantime, uh, just earlier this year, I've came across one for sale, and have been able to pick it up. So now I have both uh, side control panels. So eventually, I'll get to that and keep going. But yeah, as I say, I've realised I just don't want to rush to this project. So uh, here it is, sitting on my pool table. Uh, wait until I get back to it. Next project I have been work picked up is this cocktail cabinet here. Now this one I've been working slowly away on as well, but this one I definitely don't want to keep. Um, it's got no screen in it, but I do have one that's possible going to be quite a good compatible. So it has a bit of water damage, so I'm not too sure how I'm going to go about repairing that. But as we go, I'll work that out. It is supposed to have legs, and um, I have got some legs made up for it. But I'm just still in the middle of drilling them as well. I'm drilling holes so they can. Here we go, you'll see I've already started mucking around doing one. So this would go and hold it up off the ground. So. I've got these legs made up, just waiting to sort of get that finished, drilling them up ready and get them painted and so forth. So another thing is, uh, similar to my other one is I only had w one control panel uh, for this, uh, but it's actually, um, I'll just go show it to you. Okay, so this is the control panel for the opposite side. They had actually filled in the um, holes with some bog, uh, so it couldn't be used for anything, as it was used for playing a, a poker game. So the opposite side that this used to sit on was here. Now, looking at this, I found that I could, I generally just poked out the holes and um, it was just yeah, still ready to roll. As you can see where it used to have a, a sheet that was under there. This has got a hinge on it. So I have written some notes and I'm going to get another one recreated for the opposite side because I've looked at this control panel and there's no way I can really convert that to having a joystick. Too many holes drilled through it. Um, but And also it's not even a perfect fit. It sort of doesn't even align with the... Uh, how the cabinet goes. Um, oh, I think I've forgotten to say this is a handkin cabinet from Australia. So um, I actually contacted the guy who holds the rights to them and he said even though they've been recreating these over the last few years they were different uh, and he didn't have the actual measurements for the most original ones which this would be from the 80s. Uh, but he was able to give me some info on getting the legs created for it. So that was definitely a bonus. So that's sort of in here for now. I've taken the glass top off. It's just put away. Um, and just really just getting the second control panel made up for here. So yeah. So something else that I have picked up is this Rally 20. As it's got the wrong handlebars. Uh, and it's missing its mud guards and the rear rack, but uh, and it doesn't even have the correct pe pedals on them. Um, initially, I've picked this up for a different reason, 
but I didn't really want to destroy the bike but I've also picked up a rally chopper uh, the frame on the chopper is a little bit rough it normally has a, uh, a rod pipe a pipe that goes up to the back seat and it's quite rusted and I was able to pick this bike up quite cheap and the idea was maybe I could use the piping off this because it's the same size as a replacement but yeah I just haven't really been able to bring myself to pull it apart and in the meantime I've picked up a lot of parts for a Rally 20 so I've sort of just been like oh well I don't really want to pull it apart so much rather keep it so yeah I'm pretty sure this is a New Zealand built one I think the British ones have a, a bar that comes across here as an extra bit of support um, but otherwise um, I'll be holding on to this for now so as I was just saying before I've picked up a Mark II Rally Chopper the frame was pretty rough and it didn't have its original wheels I'll put the photos up here so you can see them now as I don't currently have the frame it's a way been worked on and I will have it sandblasted and repainted so this is a wheel that I've just recently picked it was originally on an exercise bike so it's got the completely wrong tyre on it but I've actually ordered a new set of tyres that are coming in from the UK uh, it's cleaned up quite well and it even has rally stamped on it so it is a proper rim for a rally chopper but they were imported into New Zealand for other purposes like exercise bikes So what else I've picked up is a second Japanese pachinko machine. This one wasn't currently running as it didn't have the Perspex screen in the door, which I've able to get some Perspex, cut it to fit. It also doesn't have the correct stopper in here. Obviously I've just put some sponge there for now, so it is playable, but it's just not correct. Uh, otherwise, uh, it's playable now, and I did purchase some extra new, brand new balls for it. Um, I don't have a correct stand for it though. I will look at getting both my machines um, set up to have a. You will see, when you do a research online, you can normally see people put a nice wooden frame on them. To. Uh, uh, make them look, they look a lot better with them uh, because initially these were just in the wall uh, and they didn't need anything else but um, doing a bit of research and I can't really find much about this actual machine but uh, it is playable but I'll continue on trying to get small the small bits it's small pieces that it's missing that little stopper bounce thing there where the ball comes around and hits it also had some of the pins pulled out so for now I'll put some nails in there but I will try and see if I can pick up some of these original pins that it should have otherwise it's a great machine it's a little bit newer than my other one I think my other one is 72 and this one's at 1974 I love how they have got alligators on it the alligator there and then there's another one down here I'm not too sure what this machine is actually called my other one is called three comics but this one maybe it's called new poppy I don't seem to find much info on it so maybe someone can tell me so here's something you don't see every day now uh, these are Tommy water games uh, we used to have them back in the 90s, a lot of my friends had them. Um, just recently I've picked up this original Pac-Man one. Uh, the idea is that you would try and catch the ghosts in his mouth. Uh, pretty straightforward, uh, quite easy to play really. Uh, but this is the original. Uh, I also have the box for it.
and it also shows some of the other type of games that you skip. So recently they've also released two of them, two of the older ones, the simple ones, the dolphin ring catch, although that does look like a swordfish, and the idea is to try and catch all the rings on his nose. Looking between the two, they're pretty spot on the new one to the old. I do feel that the plastic, the clear plastic is different to this original. It almost seems like you can, you might even see it, it just has a slight sort of tint in the glass, or in the plastic. Where this one's clear as anything, for something that's so old, it's held up really well. So here's a really odd pickup that I've got. It's a 1960s shopping trolley. Now don't mind there's wood in there, but I did find that it's really great for drying it out. I don't plan on keeping wood in here all the time, but this is a New Zealand made one from what we got here, Falconer Collins Limited. Um, I've done a bit of research, there's not really much to be said about these, but I believe this is from 19... 60s onwards, could be even 70s. Uh, this was from a shop in Stratford. Uh, the, the owner had three of these and he sold one to me. And it's actually kind of handy to have. I like to put stuff in it and when I want to move a whole bunch of stuff. Um, plus, yeah, as I say, I've had a bit of wood in here and it's great for drying it out while I'm, well, with all this wet weather we've been having lately. And finally, this is another bike I've picked up. I've actually ended up doing a bit of a trade and selling off my other Suzuki Stinger, but this is another one I've got. Um, I've been working on it and I plan to get it running for the road, get it vinned and registered. Um, it's quite a nice looking bike, a bit better than my other Stinger that I had, but uh, I feel that this is definitely a better one, better frame. I've just recently put new tyres on it, a bit more fatter, beefier tyres than it originally had. Uh, seems to look great and work really well. I had the tank repainted. Uh, it was painted blue, uh, but the original colour was a yellow gold. So when we'd taken off the uh, rubber pads on the side, you could see the original paint. This paint is a little bit more darker than the original, um, but I feel it looks great, works well. So I'll have to see how I go on this. I've got a bit of an idea that I'll put my GoPro on it and go out for rides and post a few videos as well. So for now that's just an update on what I've been up to. Um, I hope to be posting a few more videos in the future, just letting you know how I'm getting on with these projects. So thanks for watching. Just by the way, I probably will be doing a bit of a uh, video on my rally chopper once I get it back. Um, after it's had its repairs, um, sandblasted, painted, I've got a seat cover being made for the banana seat, so should be getting that back soon. Um, I have to order in some handlebars. Didn't have the handlebars that it came with. But yeah, see you again.